the oil business in Texas is not just about Houston. I mean, there's, turns out, oil all over the state. In fact, in 1911, there's oil strikes up in North Texas, in places like Clay County up on the Red River, and in Archer County. Uh, the town of Electra, founded in 1911, is named after uh, the daughter of W.T. Wagner. W.T. Wagner had a big ranch running lots of cattle, and turns out his cattle prospered in the shade of the drilling rigs. Uh, little town of Electra attracts wildcatters. Uh, there's the town of Burke, another boom town. 1912, oil strikes in North Texas. Uh, Iowa Park in 1913. Uh, Wichita County in 1915. Uh, the big Ranger oil strike in 1917 that will end up dooming Thurber and its oil, I mean, its uh, coal production. The 1917 Ranger strike uh, is a huge one. Uh, they claim that it was the oil strike that helped the United States win World War I, <laughs> even today. There's uh, big fields in Burke Burnett, a uh, big one down in Desdemona, uh, opens up in 1918. There's oil strikes even in Coleman County, Young County. You know, the last time we were talking about Young County, it was to fight Comanches. Now, all of a sudden, there's people out there drilling oil. It's interesting how the history changes uh, just from such extremes. Uh, Young County starts uh, punching holes in the ground in 1921. Uh, so oil's coming out of Young, Coleman, uh, Shackleford County, Eastland County. Uh, there's a lot of people getting in on the action. Well, it's not just in North Texas. As the oil boom is rocketing along the Texas coast and then also up in North, what used to be the old Northwest Texas frontier, uh, there's guys going back into places like Corsicana with proven reserves saying, you know what, maybe if we drill differently and if we hit you know, slightly to the left or slightly to the right, we might be able to bring this uh, field back up into a higher state of production. And they're right. So Corsicana has another big oil boom, uh, driven primarily through um, the discovery of the woodbine sand. Uh, woodbine sand and Corsicana production, uh, woodbine sand and production around Corsicana in 1924 shoots up to about 33 million barrels a year coming out of that field alone. Um, just by mid 1920s, there's nearly 1,800 wells operating around Corsicana. It's just a forest of oil wells. Um, wait, what about the rest of Texas? <laughs> well, Panhand the Panhandle jumps in. Uh, Borger becomes an oil boom town after discovery of oil there in 1926 uh, and goes from being essentially a small wide spot on a dirt road to a town of 20,000 almost immediately. Uh, there's so much uh, gambling and corruption and vice and prostitution that uh, starts to spring up also in Borger that the Texas Rangers get called in just to try to provide some law and order uh, to that boomtown. Uh, peak production in the Panhandle is in 1927. And in that year, they're bringing in just under 40 million barrels of oil from the Northern Panhandle. Uh, from 1907 to 1929, there's a lot of oil discovery uh, south of San Antonio. It's marginal compared to what was coming in on the Texas coast, but reserves are there, clearly. Well, there's refineries, big refining operations that spring up to handle this volume of oil uh, in places like uh, Port Lavaca and Corpus Christi. So the Texas coast uh, starts to have a boom in refinery production. All right, so how big a boom are we talking about in the 19 aughts, the 19 teens, 1920s? Well, by 1929, there is about 70 million barrels of oil produced in Texas in the first quarter. That's 280 million barrels of oil that year. So what's that worth in present day dollars? Well, that would be about $1.2 billion in today's dollars uh, every quarter. Uh, back then, price of oil was trading for buck twenty-seven a barrel, but that jumps it up to about $27 a barrel in today's valuation. So we're talking about a massive influx of capital into Texas. It is absolutely mind-boggling. And what else is mind-boggling is some people that had been 
pretty hard scrabble farmers with small acreage doing subsistence farming go from being hard scrabble uh, and really underprivileged to all of a sudden having more money than they could imagine. It is truly transformational.